Well, scientists make a huge discovery on Galveston Island. A pack of wild canines are actually linked to extinct wolves. And this story is wild because we're talking almost 40 years ago, these red wolves were declared extinct in the wild. Our Matt Doherty is live from Galveston speaking with the man who made this discovery. Matt. Yeah, the mystery of these animals has haunted this Galveston resident for years, but tonight he does have an answer, and it's one that nobody expected. I felt like I was being driven to look for an answer. Wildlife expert Ron Wooten says it all started back in 2013. It was, it was after the storm, and he, um, he was wandering where he didn't need, didn't need to be. His dog was attacked by some of the island's coyotes, he thought, so he set out to track them. I finally found some here on the island. I uh, took the pictures, looked back at them, and I, I said, this is, these are not coyotes. There's a definite difference in the way they, uh, they, are, they sound and the way they interact. A big family unit, okay. a big family unit, much, much larger than what I'd seen with uh, some of the coyote uh, groups that I'd seen. Wooten says from that point forward, he was on a mission to find out what these animals are. At first, he couldn't find anyone interested in doing a study until he sent his photos to a wolf researcher and got a response within minutes. And said, we got to do something about these animals. Next, Wooten would have to get a DNA sample from the animals to send off for testing. The only way to do it would be to find a carcass. And after lots of time spent searching, he finally got what he needed, a roadkill. The carcass was shipped off to biologists at Princeton University. And sure enough, these were not coyotes. The canines were something else, hybrids, with DNA showing they were 40% red wolf. The red wolf was declared extinct in the wild back in 1980. Galveston Island is, uh, we've got a genetic gold mine here. And until now, nobody knew it. Know that there's genetic material that will help this species propagate and make it to the next level hopefully escape extinction. That's a pretty special thing. Now there are only about 200 red wolves left. Almost all of them are in captivity. Scientists are hopeful that the population here on Galveston Island will provide the necessary DNA to help that other population grow and flourish. We're live on Galveston Island. Standing for Houston, Matt Doherty, KHU 11 News. What an incredible discovery. Matt, thank you so much.